Well, tonight we are hearing from the family of Carrie Prescott. He's the man who has been missing out of Scriven County for several weeks now. The family initially reported him missing on July 6 and tonight they're describing the frustration of waiting so long without any answers. Our Madeline Bierster went to Scriven County to hear from them. We're not feeling like we're being cared about. I know somebody knows something. Hey, somebody knows something. The Screven County Sheriff's Office says Kerry was last seen on June 23rd on Kimwood Drive. His family said he was dropped off by his brother. Searchers say with the help of the DNR and GBI, they checked that area on Kimwood, but couldn't find anything after draining the pond there. Today, Sheriff Mike Kyle says their investigation remains full steam ahead and they're continuing to chase down leads, interviewing over 50 people. Sheriff Kyle also says their plan is to bring dogs around the pond as well and in the pond to completely cross off that area in the investigation. Carrie Prescott Sr. says he hasn't heard a word of it. It all kind of rumors going around. He's supposed to be kidding us too. You know, he ain't telling us nothing. Carrie's father said he's frustrated with the lack of answers and transparency in this investigation so far. Carrie's cousin Ronika Prescott echoes his message. We start out with all our trust in no, Our police, but you heard this man say he knows nothing. Rumors that we've been hearing have been consistent. They remain the same. The rumors circulating the community only angering family more with no real answers so far. Just because they've stopped, we're not going to stop. No one's going to stop. He's not going to stop. The kids are not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. And there's a whole lot more people in this community that's not going to stop. They're not going to rest until Kerry Prescott Jr. comes up. Whether is dead or alive. The family went on to say that they also feel hopeless not being allowed to conduct their own search parties to look for their loved one. The sheriff's office says that the family is not allowed on private property and that they've already searched five or six areas by drone. They don't give up. But I hope they, I hope they know they ain't give up. I ain't give up. But one way or the other, Karen Prescott is going to come from somewhere and we won't rest until he do. And we won't. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it, we, we just want justice for Kerry Prescott. And that's it. As the investigation continues, if anyone knows anything, please reach out to the sheriff's office directly, no matter how small that information is. Reporting in Scriven County, Madeline Bierster, WTOC News.